are natural readers of energy. And we are not that likely to take somebody's word on anything. I'm spiritual but not religious is one of those fashionable quotes I keep hearing again and again and again. But what exactly does that mean? What it might mean to some people is that it is a state of, you know what, it's really difficult to talk about things that where most people just pull something out of their Hmm. And um, for me, everything is the biggest difference between anything is do I speak from a personal experience, something where I say, I don't know what this was, but this is what was. Or do I interpret it through the eyes of somebody else? Um, so... It's sort of like when you call yourself a Republican or a Democrat, right? Does that mean you agree with everything that party says? Of course not. But everything is pushed into like boxes. Now, what's more important, a political system or what's really going on in the world? our reason for being here or is there one what have you um what i've what i've noticed is that arch negative people are less likely to allow somebody else to represent them and i have seen you know discussions about religion and what i have seen is that yeah there are some people repeating stuff they heard somewhere some people burst you see, I always say atheism is a crazy religion because atheism claims to know that there is nothing. You know, it doesn't make sense. But of course it's fashionable and considered intellectual and there uh, are people claiming that the greatest minds in the world were all atheists. Well, many of them were, but I noticed that when it comes to into many of them have talked about intuition many of them very strongly about synchronicities and when there are claims that some of these great minds were atheists i don't find in many cases i don't find any uh evidence of that or any statement even a lot of statements are like I don't know, or, you know, Carl Jung, he said, I don't believe, I know. But what exactly does he know? He probably knows, you know, I, I, I suggest that you read up on some of the things that he said about the scarab, an experience like that. And I know things that are for a fact. I don't really talk about them too much, but I know for a fact that they are, that there are experiences I've made where there is, um, well, I can, I can label it synchronicity and just say it's just one of those things, but why is it that people talk so much about defending somebody else's opinion, but they cannot come together to exchange real experiences? Oh, but people will think I'm crazy if I say this. Right. But when you talk about whatever your, the religion you are a member of represents, suddenly it's not crazy. Why? Because there are so many people out there who promote the same thing. So if one of your friends says, shut up, this is crazy, I don't want to hear this anymore, then you can go back to your religious friends and say, well, you know, the devil really got this guy, and blah, 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 and all of a sudden you feel a little bit better, but how do you really feel? I mean, and also, is it a crime to say, I don't know? I'm missing, I, in society, I wish there were more people knowing things and less people claiming to know things. 